Hi students, we are going to do an application of congruences. Given a day, date, month and year, how do we find what day of the week is it? Let's start with the history of calendar. So, Romans followed a particular calendar and it was changed in 738 BC by Romulus. At that time, the calendar had only 10 months. It started, the year started with March and the last month of the year was February. So, their year had only 304 days. So, now what happens to the 61 days? Because ideally the year has 365 days. So, they were not accounted for. During the year 509 to 527 BC, another calendar was followed in Rome. And this was used till 46 BC. Later on, it was replaced by the Julian calendar, which was named after Julius Caesar. Now, as the year, solar year has 365.25 days. So, to account for that one-fourth of a day, an extra day called a leap day was added to the calendar after every four years. So, in 1582, Julian calendar was changed as every four years one leap day was required. But in 128 years, this added to an error and added an extra day. So, it was in 1582, 15th October, that Pope Gregory XIII, he revised the calendar and he straight away dropped 10 years to correct the error. As we know that moon takes 29.5 days to cycle through all the moon phases, Babylonians rounded the moon cycle to 28 days and divided this time span into four periods. And that is why we have seven days in a week. So, there are a few things we should note. A day on a particular date in a month advances by one the next year. But if the date falls after the leap day, that is 29th of February, then it advances by two days. Which means that if 1st of January in, a particu in one particular year falls on a Sunday, next year that 1st January will fall on Monday. Years which are divisible by 4 and centuries which are divisible by 400 are known as leap years. Whenever we are finding out days of a week, it does not matter how many weeks went by. For example, if we start a work on Monday and finish it on Sunday, it could be 6 days have passed or 13 days have passed or 20 days have passed. As far as full weeks have been removed, only extra days matter. For days of a week, 7 is the modulus or the measure. So how do we find the day of the week? In this method, we find the day of the week by solving the formula d plus m plus y plus greatest integer y by 4 plus c. And whatever value we get from this, we see what is it congruent to mod of 7. Now, first of all, what are d, m, y, c and k here? Let's see. d is the date, m stands for month, that is the code for the month y the last two digits of the year, c is known as the correction and k 
is the code for the day of the week which takes values from 0 to 6 as follows. So first of all we will see what are the codes for the days of the week. So we will start with Saturday. Saturday is given the value 0, Sunday 1, Monday is given 2, Tuesday is 3, Wednesday is 4, Thursday is 5 and Friday has the value 6. The months also have a numerical value or code. So January is 1, February is 4, March is 4, April is 0, May is 2, June is 5, July is 0, August is 3, September is 6, October is 1st is 1, October sorry is 1, November is 4 and December is 6. Now, if it is not difficult if we just write the initials of each month in a row. So here I have taken January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. First letter of each month has been written and I have written their codes down. How I remember is I take 12 square which is 144. Then I take 25 square which is uh, sorry, 5 square which is 0, 2, 5. Then I take 6 square which is 0, 3, 6. And I add 2 to the first 3 digits in our row. So if we divide the months in 4 quarters. So it means we are taking 3, 3 digits. Then we can easily remember. For correction, the following rule is followed. If the year is in 2000, we will subtract 1. Now, if it is a leap year and the date is from 1st January to 29th February, we subtract 2. After that, if the date is after 29th February, then we subtract 1 as the correction. If the date is in 1900s, we just don't Take the correction at all, C value is 0. In 1800s, if the date falls, then we add 2. For 1700s, we add 4. For 1600s, we add 6. For 1500s, if the date is from 15th October 1582 to 31st December 1599, we do not add any correction. Coming to the Julian calendar, if the date is before 15 October 1582, we subtract the first two digits of the year from 18. Let's see some examples. As we all know, the World Trade Center was raised to the ground on 11th September 2001. And we have to find what day of the week was it. So this is the date, 11 9 2001. Here we see D value is 11, the date. And since it is September, the code for September is 6. So we can see if we go back, we see the date for September is September is 6. So we have taken 6 there. Then the last two digits are 0, 1. So we have taken 0, 1 divided by 4. And this is Y, 0, 1, last two digits. Then because it is a non-leap year and the year is two in 2000s, we subtract 1. We see that this whole total comes out to be 17, which is congruent to 3 mod 7. So, we have to check for this value. Now, 3 we can see is the code for, if we go back, we'll see 3 3 is the code for Tuesday. So the day of the week will be Tuesday.
Let's take another example. India got independence on 15th August 1947. What day of the week was it? So the date is 15th August 1947. Now here, date is 15th. August month has the code 3. Last two digits of 47 divided by 4 plus 47. And since the year is 1947, no correction is added. We see this total is congruent to 6 mod 7. 6 is the code for Friday. So the day of the week was Friday. Here, when we find the greatest integer 47 upon 4, we have to remember we'll take only the integer part. And in our case, this will be, as we see, 11 because 47 by 4 will be 11 point something so we don't take the decimal values we'll only take 11 to find what is this congruent to we can always replace each number by its residue mod 7 and then find what is it congruent to or we can take the full total and then see what is it congruent to here. If I replace 15 by its residue mod 7, I'll write here 1. That's the residue. 3 we'll take as it is. In case of 11, we'll write 4. In case of 47, we'll again write 4. That will be, the whole sum will be congruent to 6. Now, if the date is... 2nd August 1858. We'll do the same thing. We have taken the date. August has a code 3. 58 last two digits divided by 4 plus the year. And because it is 1800s, the date is 2. We'll see it is congruent to 2 mod 7. So the day of the week will be Monday. Let's take this example. The Battle of Palasi was fought on 23rd June 1757. We'll do the same thing here because the year is 1700s. We've taken the code as 4. The correction and see this is congruent to this whole sum is congruent to 5. So it was a Thursday as Thursday has the Code 5. 1st of January 1601 was adopted as the New Year's Day. What day of the week was it? We'll see here now since it is 1600s, the correction is 6. Rest of it is the same. And since it's 2nd, uh, it is the uh, it is congruent to 2. So it was a Monday. 9th of December 1583. The day of Monday was adopted after Sunday. What day of the week was it? So here, since the date is the year 1583 and Date is 9, month is December, so code is 6, 83 divided by 4 plus 80. So, as the correction here is 0, this is congruent to 6 and we find it was a Friday. Now, let's take some Julian date. So, if we... See, in this example, Henry I was crowned King of England in Westminster Abbey on 5th August 1100. What day of the week was it? Here, since it's in the Julian calendar, the date, we will be here doing the same thing, 5, as it's August, correct, the code is 3, last two digits are 0 by 4, plus the last two digits, plus First two digits 
of the year subtracted from 18. It is congruent to 1, so it happened on a Sunday. In this example, 8, Stephen II was elected as the Catholic Pope on 22nd March 752. What day of the week was it? So, now again, this is a date from the Julian calendar. So, all this remains the same except that here, now we are subtracting the first two digits of the year, which are 07 from 18. Then it becomes congruent to 4. So, it, the 4 is the code for Wednesday, so it happened on a Wednesday. Thank you.